I mean, that was a ball of energy, man. That really was. You know, power punch, boom, boom, boom. You know, I had all these things coming at me. Um, it was definitely like electro techno, 100%. Um, it was like Chemical Brothers, like, you know, definitely was, especially like the first part before um, really? Devo, before Devo came in and started. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Into the Music. My name is Greg, and that guy over there, he is Chris. Chris, man, what do you have for everyone out there tonight? Okay, uh, for you to react to, and everyone out there, um, I've got a song called Rechargeable, and it's by a, it's by a band named Snapped Ankles. Yeah. <laughs> when I saw that come on the list, I was like, oh. Okay, right. And I this, went, yeah. This is by um, someone who's, uh, we, we've done their request before, Camera Camera. Um, so let's see yeah. if Camera Camera has a good song for us. And so give it a listen. That Snapped Ankles with the song Rechargeable. And let us all know what you think. I will. Right there in the beginning, uh, those first four, it, it sounded like uh, Britney Spears, baby, baby. <laughs> Just listen to it. Uh, those piano, Gene. And the drum beat. Baby, 
Ace. Oh, man, that was a ball of energy, man. That really was. You know, pow punch, boom, boom, boom. You know, I had all these things coming at me. Mm-hmm. Um, it was definitely like electro techno, 100%. Um, it was like Chemical Brothers, like, you know, definitely was, especially like the first part before um, yeah. Devo, before Devo came in and started. Singing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pick up on that too? I, I picked up at uh, first when I th- uh, was first listening to it, I thought, this sounds like somebody, some something else, somebody else. Yeah. And um, but then when that, I don't know what that refrain was like, maybe two thirds or three quarters through. Oh yeah, the, yeah, I forgot. Um, then it really sounded like the vocals in Devo, just the vocals, not the not the um, right instrumentation. But I loved how. Yeah. Did, what did you think about how it started off at a certain tempo and it gradually got faster? Oh, yeah. No, that was really cool. I thought um, that was really effective. Yeah. And I could be way off my nut on this one. But um, in the beginning, um, man, it sounded like Britney Spears' uh, Hit Me Baby. Um, th- the beginning was like kind of like, I think it was piano keys or something. It was like, dun, 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 dun. And that's the beginning of that song. Mm-hmm. It wasn't an exact ripoff or whatever, but it, it sounded it sounds so much like that. Um, yeah, but I, then, I don't know what that yeah i know the i know that one line from the song what that sounds like but I, um I don't know the but the song was nothing like that song because then it picked yeah. up pace like you said and it just like yeah it was just flying through um it just had all these sort of electro sort of sounds um it had yeah. that again it was very chemical brother feel um yeah you know it, that beginning you know at least like two minutes in before the vocals took which, over yeah which which you know, go. I'm glad you mentioned the Chemical Brothers. I didn't think about that, but um, definitely to me, in the sense that you really could have done without the lyrics. You could have done without the vocals. You could have, you could have, first of all, not had any vocals until that refrain part I was talking about. And even with that, you could have done that on an instrument. Where you know, Chemical Brothers, same thing. They're doing sampling. They're doing the instrumental. Right. You know. So I didn't. To me, I. I, I didn't see how the vocals really added to anything, uh, especially because it wasn't really a melody, uh, much of a melody. No, but see, now that's out. interesting. I'm, I, I think the vocals, I don't know if they were need, needed, but they didn't do anything to, I think they enhanced it. I think they enhanced it. Uh, I think um, I, I would have preferred first, to take them out. When I first heard the vocals, he was shouting something. I was like, you know, because <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be like this sort of just oh, instrumental. Well, Okay. And okay. Then I was like, whoa. Yeah. You know, you know, and the only reason, one of the reasons I can say that though is because I have no idea what the lyrics are. So the lyrics might be very integral to the song and I'm short, short changing them. Right. Um, I could not find the lyrics anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. from what I see, this is an, they say it's an unreleased song, but apparently it's on, you know, it's on YouTube. So, right. I, I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean that that doesn't surprise me because you know we we found we had a little trouble too, if I remember correctly, of 
of finding the video for this too. You know, yeah. it was a little searching around. So this might be it's kind of an obscure sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That you know, that camera camera had latched, you know, had found, and he's like, he's loving this, which is oh. I can I can see. Yeah. And but yeah. Apparently though, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at um, Genius.com, and it's 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 showing me that it's from an album named uh, Stunning Luxury, which came out in 2019. Okay. However, this song in the song list, in parentheses, it says unreleased. So, yeah. <laughs> is it on the album or not on the album? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I have no idea. I have really no information other than what album it's on and the um, the year. Um, and actually, I got I got a little bit. Um, they're London based post punk, of course, which we hear. Okay. Um, and um, they. They've been around since 2011, and um, yeah, that's about that's pretty much all I can find on it. Anything about why they call themselves Snap Dangles? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, okay. Let me let me see. That that is a great question. I didn't even look at that. Oh, this is interesting, actually. Um, they began performing at Do It Yourself nights. <laughs> which I guess is open, like open mic night, yeah. um, creating live improvisations by chopping up 1960s films before sequencing and or before sequencing and augmenting them with synthesizers. That's cool. That is cool. That is really wow. Um, so they, they released their first single, uh, which is called True Ecology, in parentheses, shit everywhere, <laughs> in, in 2012. <laughs> Um, so, uh, so it tells you a lot about the band that this song is, is cut from that cloth. You know, it's not something that maybe, you know, yeah, they were just doing it as an experimental thing. And a lot of other music sounds different. It sounds like right. this is, this is right. indicative of like who the band is, what they are. Yeah. Which is really that, cool. Just that idea to come up with things by doing that. Yeah. And I'm wondering yeah. why the 1960s movies but yeah, yeah I'm, I'm curious like if i listen you know we listen to their other stuff trying to detect what song what 60s movies they came from right if they're if their recorded stuff still uses that technique i mean yeah but yeah but i love it they started i don't know if they continued in that uh with that form you know that uh, method so really? sorry i can't give you more information yeah. on them but yeah yeah, I think I gave you some pertinent information. I think you, I think what you gave is enough. You know, hey, you know, as the Rolling Stones sang, right? You know, you can't get what you always want, right? No, you can't always get what you want. But if <laughs> you try, you, can't get you get what you what need. You, you get what you need. You get what you need, right? And you gave me what I needed, what everyone needed out there. So, um, and what we need right now is for you to take us out, take us out, take us uh, out, Chris. Hi, <laughs> Captain. All right, thanks for watching. Hit the like button whether you like this or not. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I, I'll try. Hit the subscribe. Or some people say smash that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, okay. That's anyway. where I put the fire explosion when I when I edit this and I put the, you know. Right. right. You see that a lot too. Anyway. And make it like louder than the other volume. I am. The rest of the I am. On the, I'm putting on it in. The, Video, so we we kind of jump. I'm techno and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna light this baby up, man. Be like apocalypse now. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna extinguish that fire for now and say we'll catch you next time on Into the Music. See ya.